This video is kindly sponsored by 3M. Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. If you know me, you know how much I love sanding. This is why I've partnered with 3M and their new line of pro-grade precision abrasives as well as their scotch tapes. And today I'd like to tell you about them as well as what you can do with them, how good they are and some neat things you can do with them. I'll start by using ProGrade Precision Sanding Sheets, which 3M makes using their own proprietary premium mineral technology, which allows for much quicker sanding. This sandpaper reduces clogging, it comes in many different grids, it's suitable for wet and dry sanding. Just to show you how good 3M's proprietary mineral technology is, I'm gonna use this piece of wood that's roughly sanded with 60 grit sandpaper and I just made some marks with a pencil so you can see the results a bit better. I'm gonna divide this in half using Scotch Original Multi-Surface Painter's Tape. And the non-slip technology allows you to fold this in half and easily tear it so you don't need scissors, just like that. And also when you sand, the non-slip technology makes it super easy because there is no movement, it's just easier to sand and it makes it more comfortable. And normally if you were using a piece of paper like what I'm doing right now, it would be rolling and just would be quite difficult and annoying to be honest. And this is super easy and comfortable because it doesn't move. And as you can see, I'm only pressing against the top bit. It's working very well because there is no movement at all. And just like that, we've got a nice smooth surface. And notice that this is 80 grit. So we can definitely go higher with 120. Here's the difference. Also something you can do if you don't have a bench grinder, but you want to sand something flat. You can use one of the sanding sheets and glue it onto a piece of wood like what I'm doing here. And then this is perfect for making sure you actually have a nice and flat surface. <laughs> And of course, when you're sanding, personal protective equipment is recommended and 3M make those as well. 3M also sent me these sanding sponges. This is dust channeling sponge and this is flat sponge. And this one has a very cool diamond shape pattern with channels that allow the dust to escape as you're sanding so it doesn't accumulate under the sponge and just makes the job much quicker. I've used so many different sandpapers and you can tell if something is quality and how sharp it is. The other thing I really like about these ProGrade Precision sponges is that normally if you wanted to clean sandpaper, you would use something like this. And this sponge, I literally just rinsed with water, didn't even try to get anything off of it. I just sprayed some water on it and it looked brand new. And because this can be used for dry or wet sanding, you can soak this with water and as you're sanding something, you've got constant supply of water so you don't need to have a bottle to spray it. Let's talk about scotch tapes. Common mistake that many people make while using tapes is that they don't actually wait and allow the tape to set. You need to wait 30 to 60 minutes before you actually start using the tape, otherwise you won't get the best results. To get the best results while using scotch tapes, you make sure the surface is dry and dust free. You press the tape firmly. You wait 30 to 60 minutes and allow it for the tape to set. And then when it's time to take it off, you roll it back on itself and then pull it up at 45 degrees. And this is how you get a nice and straight line. But let's see if it actually works. So I'm gonna press this down firmly. 
I'll wait about 40 minutes and I'll come back and use some gilding wax and see if we can get a nice and straight line. So it's been about 35 minutes. I'm going to use some gilding wax. And as I said before, you start by rolling the tape back and then you pull it off at 45 degree angle. And we've got a beautiful crisp line. One of my personal favorite ways of using the original scotch blue tape is to take a piece of it and attach some plastic or maybe a large piece of paper just below the area that you're going to work on. Let's say you're working at home, you have some drywall that you need to sand, maybe you repaired it and you don't want to make a mess. As you're sanding, everything falls down on a piece of plastic. And you just take it off, put it in a bin and job done. I'll use it on a piece of veneer plywood. And for this purpose, I'm going to use this delicate surfaces scotch tape. I've got one that's already open because I've used it before. And obviously you can't feel it because you're not here. <laughs> but I can tell you that this is very thin and it's got a waxy feel to it. And I've used it before and I think because it's so thin, it's really... Um, molds into the surface even if it's not perfectly smooth and it allows you to get a very nice and crisp line. So I'm going to apply it to this plywood. I'll press it down. I'll wait about 30 minutes and I'll come back and I'll paint it. So it's been about 35 minutes. The scotch tape should be set by now. I'm going to wait for the paint to be dry to the touch before I remove the tape. It's been a while and the paint looks like it's dry to the touch. To remove scotch tape properly, you roll it back on itself and then you pull it back at 45 degree like so. And there it is. Beautiful, crisp and straight line. I've also tried it on glass with frosting spray and this is what it looked like. I'm going to use this Scotch Blue Sharp Lines Multi-Surface Painter's Tape on a piece of glass. You can use it on tiles, and other surfaces as well. Just to give you an idea what you can do. Let's see what it looks like. take it off at 45 degree angle. And I've got beautiful crisp line. And you can do something like this if you want to update an old piece of furniture. Do something like a mid-century modern design on glass windows or glass doors. Something I wish I knew when I started woodworking and working with furniture is that it's worth to pay a little more for quality sandpaper because first of all it lasts longer, second it's much nicer to use it, it gives you way better finish and it saves you time because you don't need to change the discs or the pieces of sandpaper that you're using as often. So I don't use no brand sandpaper anymore because it's just not worth it. I can't say I'm surprised with the results because I've been using 
3M's abrasives and scotch tapes for a long time and I knew they were high quality products but um, these are very nice and I can genuinely recommend them. And for those of you guys who want to get into woodworking or working with furniture but don't want to spend a lot of money buying equipment, sanders and things like that, you can start with these. When you use good quality abrasives, you can actually do the job quite fast even if you do it by hand. And these sponges make it very easy. I honestly don't feel that um, I need to recommend this product because most people know what this is and most people know that this is quality but probably most of you don't know that there are so many different types of scotch tape for so many different purposes and applications but now that I've been playing with them and trying them on many different surfaces I can honestly say that there is a difference and if you care about the quality of your finish and you like crisp lines like I do um, yeah, get the one that's the most suitable for the project that you work on because that will give you the best results. If you are interested in these products, you can find them at Home Depot or other DIY type of stores. Thank you to 3M again for sponsoring this video. Happy DIYing and see you soon!